What up, y'all? How y'all been? I know it's been a grip. What do I call this video? Comeback? He's back? I don't know. But it's like, it's weird, you know? Because I've been like down this hole. Just down this hole, this dark hole. I didn't know how to get out of it. And I was just like going in the gym, hoodie on hood up, headphones in, get my lift done, go home. And it worked pretty good for me because I feel like I'm kind of out of this hole, but it's still, it's not bad, but it's still there. And it's like, it's super annoying because like I want to drop content for y'all. Like I want to do content, I want to do videos, but it's just, I can't record in my gym if there's people like the owner of the gym is fine with me recording but the people in the gym are not fine with me recording which is it is what it is like i gotta respect it because germany is a little different about their policies with like cameras and gyms and like cameras in general so it's like i mean i respect it i gotta respect it and i can't do shit about it besides find a good point where nobody's at the fucking gym now we're coming to the bad part. Every fucking part of the day, somebody's at the fucking gym. Which I love to see. I love to see everybody getting after it, you know? Like, make shit happen. But it's fucking annoying for me because I want to do content. Like, I, I got a camera and everything at the crib. I got a, another camera. I got, like, a VHS camera that I want to do shit with. And I just can't because... Because... I just can't because the gym is like packed 24 7 and it's like super annoying and I don't know but I'm trying to record today it's leg day I'm drinking my pre right now and then I hope somehow I can record because I, I made good progress since the last video I've seen like I gained like 20 pounds and it's like all my lifts went up, like my squat went up, my bench went up, everything. Like, you know, I got bigger, I got a better chest now. Like all the things I wanted to work on, I worked on and I want to keep working on them. And I want to have y'all to be part of the journey and I want to take y'all with me. But only if the gym lets me. And that's the issue. I can record in the gym. I wish I could. But... Maybe we're gonna switch the scenery at some point. Who knows? Because as y'all can see, I'm in the whip. It's already been achieved. You've done this day a thousand times. So take the day by the balls. Wake up and do what, you, what, what you've been, you know, sweeping under the rug, right? You have these things you know you want to do. You have these things you know you should do. And you've been slacking. You've been, and you've been, you know, it's as simple as a phone call away to pick something. It's as simple as going to a certain place to get something done, get something fixed. Whatever it is, don't say maybe in 10 minutes, uh, maybe, in, maybe in an hour, maybe tomorrow. Tomorrow's a better day. Start whenever you can. And what's crazy is like, the more I've been talking to my camera and like letting it loose and just letting you guys know to be better, I'm becoming better. It seems like I'm almost manifesting myself to become better right now. You know, the more I talk about positivity, the more I preach being better, I feel like I'm getting better. Kleiner Tipp auch noch von mir, beziehungsweise eine große Bitte.
locked in my room, four black walls, tie the noose, no recall, no result, fuck with draw, rather shoot up till I fall. Murder on call with the five nine. Twenty years and it seemed like a lifetime. I've been hanging every day from a lifeline. Bodies fucking till the dinner every night time. Smoke, smoke in that dope off the floor, let me bump. Hopefully don't cut, don't fuck with y'all. Spray paint the walls with blood and whatever. Drag you outside, let you rot in the wet. I don't think I can explain any better. I'm scared from the terror and live for the less. My birth was. segment but I didn't want to put a third workout in there it's just a little compilation of my vacation and stuff but it's like what I want to get out of this video is to show you if you're down and if you're feeling bad and you're down in this hole it's it's okay if you take a break it's okay for you to step out of your problems and it's okay for you to be out of your zone and don't think about stuff for a minute and just just get out and don't have the force of thinking all this bad stuff like I just want this video to show you guys if you feel bad if you're down if you're not doing good it's okay if you take a step back and it's totally okay if you're taking like go on a trip do something different do some fun have fun go do some exciting that that takes you away from your problems for a second like you should not be feeling the way you're feeling every single day 24 7 so it's fine if you take a step back if you're not doing okay go somewhere take your friends somewhere go out have a nice dinner you know like go on vacation like my trip to la helped me so much figuring stuff out like my trip to la helped me so much with my problems and just being by myself and figuring stuff out for myself. If you look at it different than if you just feel like you gotta solve this issue right now, like your problem can wait, man. It's always your mental health comes first. Like if you're feeling down, if you're depressed or whatever, like I've been there and I can relate to you guys. Like find a new hobby and whatever, like just take your thoughts away from you for a second and it can help you so much with stuff and it's like it's almost like your problems are gonna solve itself once you take a step back and look at it from a different perspective so this is gonna be a wrap for the video I just didn't want to put a third workout in there because you already seem to and the story I just wanted to tell with the video is you've got problems take a step back Go on a trip, go somewhere different than your hometown that you're in 24-7 with your problems around you 24-7. And enjoy yourself, enjoy your free time, enjoy, enjoy your mental health, like let 
you're meant to have be your first priority. Like, love the Lord, love yourself, and you're gonna be fine for the rest of your life. Trust me, like, please trust me on this. You're gonna be more than fine if you just put God as your number one priority and then put yourself first. This is the main thing I learned. Like, put yourself first and you're gonna be happier than ever before. And so many problems start to fly away. And you're probably gonna ask, well, how you start loving yourself? And my tip for you is, go do stuff by yourself. Go out to dinner by yourself. Go watch a movie by yourself. Just go places by yourself and be comfortable with being by yourself. Don't feel bad about feeling bad. It's okay. Take a step back, look at it from the outside, and figure it out. Like, you're gonna figure it out. At the end of the day, you're gonna wake up tomorrow morning, it's a new day, you're gonna go after it. You're gonna go after it, and you're gonna be fine. Like, leave all that shit behind you, and you're gonna be more than good, bro. So, just make sure you share this video to all your buddies, all your closest friends, so this video gets maximum attention because this topic is like super important and this topic should be more spoken about because mental health is a serious issue in this generation especially with social media and everything but I know you got this like you're gonna wake up tomorrow morning and you're gonna be fine so peace out and if you watched till now please hit the subscribe button like comment subscribe share